हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन फ्यूटेक इन दिस वीडियो वे गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू कनेक्ट यूर नोट जेस अप्लीकेशन टू मोंगो टी वी एटलास सो बेसिकली मोंगो टी वी एटलास इज ए क्लाउड डेटा बेस विच वी कैन इट मेक्स इज ईजी टू वर्क विद दि मोंगो टी वी एटलास सिंस इट मैनेज द डेटा बेस इट वी हेव नो वर्क टू डिप्लॉय अवर होस्ट सो इन दि बैक आल दि डेटा इज stored in the cloud service providers like aws azure or google cloud you can select any of your cloud service provider while creating your database so uh, before getting started now you have to create an account in the mongodb atlas so uh, you can head over to this website mongodb.com/atlas you can go here try free and start creating your account so after creating your account you you, you can come to your dashboard so basically first you need to create a cluster so i have already created a cluster in, you, so in order to create you can click on create here and you can start following these steps here like as i said you can select your cloud provider here and you can select some other additional options if you need it so after creating after creating the cluster you will be having the dashboard view like this so since i have created my cluster is cluster 0 so if you go and click this browse collections you can view all of your databases and all of your collections in your database so currently these are my databases so this is one of the sample database which i played around so all your collections which you have created will be in this database so uh, uh let i am deleting this database yeah so uh, basically after create after creating a database you need to uh, come to this database access so uh, you you need to add a database user so i'm going to add a new database user here so i'm going to protect my database user with password so i'm going to uh, auto generate a password so i'm going you can give your own password as well so i'm giving my uh, user privileges like read and write to any database so i'm giving full access and uh, yeah, you can leave all the other options as the default ones and now click on add user and uh, also give the database user name so click on add user yeah you can see i'm having this in fitech and also come to the network access and make sure you have your you, ha you have the access like your 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 ip address is having access to your database so i basically what i have done is i have given all ip address access to my database so nothing to worry so you can click on add ip address You, you can give a, give your current ip address or you can give a specific ip address as well to add like this 0.0 you can you, you can allow, you your database will be given access to all the ip address it will be global so now let's uh, connect to this mongodb database through our node.js project okay so now oh, go to your terminal go to your uh, directory where you wanted to create the node project so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to create a folder called infi atlas here i'm going to create my node project i'm going to say npm init uh, you can uh, give your configurations and i'm uh, i'm fine with all the default ones yeah so this you will be getting a package.json file and index js as the entry point to your application so now first uh, check with the package.json so let me increase the font size yeah so this is the package.json uh, which is given to you so as you can see the entry point is index.js now let's create that file dot index.js Okay, so in order to connect to the database, we need to install one npm library. 
which is the mongoose which helps us to connect to our database write schemas perform crud operation crud operations and all so you can head over to mongoose website and uh, read the documentation you will get a clear sense of what mongoose is so basically for this video let's use mongoose mongoose uh, to connect to the database basically this is a kind of helper to us for mongodb or else you can use mongo client as well but uh, we're going with mongoose for now so you can see that mongoose has been added to our, our project as a dependency and now come to index.js and import your mongoose yeah after importing uh, just frame your uh, db url so this is the url you will be using to connect to the database so now let's come to the dashboard connect yeah so after clicking on connect select connect your application and you will be having this connection string so now copy this string paste it here and uh, just give your db username remember that we have created our db username as infitech and you have to replace this password with your db username password infitech user click on edit and uh, what's a password so click on auto generate secure password copy it and update user take your password and paste it here like i'm doing so it is our at cluster zero and this is your database name you can change your database name and otherwise it will create a database new database for you if it is not present in your cluster so i am going with the default one my first database so now we have got the db url okay so now it's very simple for us now let's say let's uh, basically before connecting we need some connection parameters to be passed while connecting to our db so there are some uh, params to be passed while connecting the one is use new url parser as true and the other is use unified topology if i'm not wrong you can just google this if in case you get some other errors i'm i hope i'm not wrong with this words so yeah so now use mongoose dot connect pass the db url pass the connection params and you can this returns a promise you can say console dot info if you are you are connected to the database you can print connected to the db otherwise if you get any errors you can catch it with the catch block and print it over the console that's all so now let's run this node index dot js as you can see we are getting that we are connected to the database so this is how you can connect to the mongodb at last database using the mongoose library and the with the help of this db url so that's all um, we will be seeing how to insert a data or how to perform crud operations with mongoose and mongodb at last in the upcoming videos thank you for watching